so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, I call it the hello world of trading algorithms. And we're going to basically look at the first uh, sort of the, the first algo that, that we can effectively use for trading. And it's actually one that people have used for many, many years. It doesn't work quite so well anymore these days, but it used to work pretty well. All right. Are you ready? Born ready. <laughs> Great. So so this so this particular strategy is called the moving average crossover. Um have you heard of it of it? Mm, not quite, I would say. All right. Good. Okay. So I'm going to show you that. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this stuff because we're gonna we're gonna reuse quite a lot of it. And I just paste it here. Okay. <laughs> now, before we um, before we do this, I show you a few things. So let's just take the S and P five hundred here. So what we can do is we can plot plot it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> S P Y uh, dot uh, close dot plot. Uh, let's see if it does that. Yeah. So let's just um, let's just plot the last thousand um, the last thousand uh, values. So we go SPY minus one thousand. You see this I lock again. You know, mm -hmm. so it's the last minus one thousand to the end. It's the last thousand values. Okay, and now what we can do is we can plot a moving average of that. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and a moving average is basically, let's say you are at a specific time. It takes the last whatever values, let's say 100 values, it takes the average of that. And that's basically the value of your moving average. Okay. So you have a window that rolls along the price data. And the average is always the average at this in of all the values inside that window. Yeah. It's called a moving average. And it's actually fairly easy to do in. Uh, in pandas, so we do spy dot close dot rolling, and that sets up a rolling window. And let's just say we use a rolling window with fifty days uh, period, yeah. <laughs> and then we call that mean. So we say a rolling fifty day window, and when we do dot mean, we call, we 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 actually take the average of those fifty days. And and it's at every time step we roll the window a little bit further, so we get an average, and then we plot this. Oh yes, and we do the i lock because um, we want to have the same kind of thing here. And now look at this. This is um, mm -hmm. this is the moving average. This orange line. Actually, let me just make this window a little bit bigger. Make it two hundred days. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Can you see what we could do with this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I what, guess so. What? What? <laughs> any ideas? Any ideas? I mean, like the the moving average. If if I understand it right, like the orange line, um, kind of goes up, and then it's kind of now like we're at the point where we're now. It's kind of like going down, like yeah, continuously, so, so to say. Yeah. So what's interesting here is when you look at that, when the orange line is below the blue line, yeah, mm -hmm. we're in an uptrend, often. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when it's it's above the blue line, we're in a downtrend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let's just go a bit further back. Um, let's do two thousand. See that here we're in an mm -hmm. uptrend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then the blue line crosses the orange line. We go into a downtrend, mm -hmm. and then it comes back. We're in an uptrend, and it crosses again. We're going down. And it crosses again, we're going up. It crosses again, we're going down. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And so what that means is 
And that's why it's called a crossover. Whenever the moving average crosses, mm -hmm. we're changing direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um let's just let's just do it for the whole period. Um so so basically what we can do is when the moving average goes one way, we go long, mm -hmm. you know, or when our price is above the moving average, we go long. When our price is below the moving average, we go short. Mm -hmm. See that? Long, long, mm -hmm. long, mm -hmm. and then short, you know, and short. Mm -hmm. So pretty big bear market here. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> That's our trading strategy. Mm 